Mike's Daily Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Episode 1108. Oh, look, and it's June 8th, 2016. That just seems to keep happening around here. Mike Matthews, broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valleyton. Today we hear from Madame Rudabega, Valentino, Bison, Bentley, plus the return of the fun segment, Mike's Daily Podcast, The Marco Minute, where we look at the amazing things happening in the world, Mike's Daily Podcast, of sports and such, but let's take a look at politics in California, things went all up in it. I went to my polling place with my dog by my side. Well, I tied him up outside because people tend to have a... I can't rhyme anything this morning. Mike's Daily Podcast. Oh, boy. I did get one of those I Voted stickers. And I want to put that somewhere on a... Daily This is exciting. Podcast. The Wednesday show. Yeah! Kicking it. All right, here's the interesting thing. I forgot to bring with me this one thing that they sent me in the mail. Attention, Democrats. It says here what I'm supposed to vote for. It gives me my polling place. And then it said, you know, what I should vote for. I didn't vote for any of this. I, I voted the one proposition it told me to vote yes for. I said yes, but... Uh, the rest of these candidates, I did not vote for. So, am I a Democrat? I don't know. But this flyer, whoever, who prints this up? Democratic Voters' Choice in Covina, California. Interesting. This document was prepared by Democratic Voters' Choice, not an official party organization. Oh, super PAC. There you go. Well, another interesting thing that happened yesterday was I was all excited about voting. And I'm like, I'm off to vote. And I saw Haley, who does the Daily Haley. Hasn't done it lately, but we'll have a Daily Haley soon. And I go, Haley, did you go out and vote? And Haley said to me, oh, was that today? (laughs) So I don't know if that's a comment on all millennials, but oh, look who just walked in. Hello, Michael Masu. It's Madame I remember some millennium. Oh, did you party like it was 1969, 1999? Oh wait, it was 1999 at the millennial, huh? Yes, Michael Matthew, very astute. I'm very astute. Let's get together and call ourselves an institute. That's a Paul Simon song. I know. The millennium. Yeah, we talked about the millennium with Constant Coogan. They had an interesting millennium story. But millennials are like, oh, who cares? Who cares? We were like five when that happened, so shut up. Well, here's another thing that happened uh, uh, right, well, right at the millennial, millennium. There was the uh, election between Al Gore and George Bush, W. Bush. And people forget that our millennials, that there was this little guy named Ralph Nader that made things very difficult. Look who else just walked in. It's Floyd the floor man. And this is John Deere, the engineer. We came in with some other people. Who who are those other people? Hello, dear Mike. It's Valentino, the banking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Oh, hey, uh, Valentino, your favorite, Chris Christie. He was up there defending Trump and his racist remarks. Chris Christie is... Hey. He's a not a racist day. Trump, I don't know about. Oh, okay. Well, Chris Christie was saying Trump's not a racist, so. Yeah, whatever. What are you uh, guys up to today? Mike, we went and got breakfast. Yes, Mike, we went to a breakfast place and ate heartily. Mm-hmm. That's right, Mike. We ate a lot of high caloric things today in syrup. Syrup. Delicious sweet syrup. Do you know that? And butter. Well, that's good. You guys have had some fun morning activity. Morning workout, as it were. I can't stand big breakfasts. The rest of my day is shot. 
Five. Being at work at five in the morning, you kind of got to make sure you eat as healthy as possible because you, you're you throwing your body into a weird deal. Especially when the sun is up so late. The sun's up so late. And your body's like, no, we got to be outside and barbecuing and, and dancing all day. Till the sun goes down and then past that Dancing all night long And become a Lionel Richie song And just keep dancing We've referenced a lot of musicians today Paul Simon, Lionel Richie, a lot of 80s people They all sang on uh, We Are The World Interestingly enough Which that song was in my head the other day There comes a time When we need a certain call When the world must come together as one Now is Bernie going to come together as one With the Democratic Party did not win He was betting on California He was betting on California Did not happen for him Oh the Bernie Sanders came uh, Supporters came out And I saw them on Facebook And they're all really attractive All you Bernie supporters You're hot You're good looking peoples You Bernie fans When I was walking my dog I, on, on the way to the polling place I was walking up this street Oh by the way I saved a couple of little dogs so all of you that think that all big dogs want to do is eat little dogs as, as little snacks, well, shut up. Because what happened was, I was walking Basil the Boxer, a rather large boxer. Uh, he's been called many times a huge boxer. As we were walking down this street, we come upon these two little dogs that have barked at him many a time. Through a fence They come running up to When they see Basil They come running up to the fence And bark at him That yip 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 Well these two dogs Were on the other side of the fence They were outside And they're walking around the street And I'm like Oh my gosh This is roadkill waiting to happen So I went over to the doggies I'm like Go 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 home Go home And they did They went right back over to the fence And they waited for me And Basil They were fine with Basil They were sniffing Basil They were having a great time With Basil and I opened up their gate and they ran back into their front yard and their gate area. And Basil wanted to go with them and play. But So it was a fun day all around. I felt like I did a good deed. And I saw some Bernie Sanders supporters and they were young and beautiful. I just think that it's hilarious that a millennial that I know that was all Bernie supporting and burning away early on this year... Didn't even vote yesterday So what are you going to do uh, I all Just wanted to rem- remind Millennials though There was a guy named Ralph Nader And he also Brought up He contested the Al Gore And the Bill Clinton legacy with Al Gore Right? Al Gore was Bill Clinton's vice president And Nader Contested the establishment And all that And what ended up happening? George W. Bush won And we had Bush for 8 years And then when uh, John Kerry, who's now part of the Obama legacy, being his secretary of state, uh, when Kerry was trying to run up against George W. Bush, who showed up again? Nader. And once again, um, Bush won. So it's a thing. In fact, it got so bad that there was a movement called NaderDon'tRun.com I think is what it was And it was just totally like Stop it Ralph We get it There's a You're a, The consumer advocate That's fine But Come on Do You see what you're doing In politics With you in politics It doesn't mix But people Support him And it ends up Causing It splits the party Trump has to worry about that to some degree with any independent candidate or Republican candidate that, you know, the Mitt Romneys and the everybody saying Paul Ryan should run up against Trump. It's the party unity thing that everybody's trying to get done right now and trying to get the Paul Ryan's trying to say, hey, Trump, he's racist, but hey, he's the only one that's going to help us because Hillary is not going to help us. And Paul Ryan was at that conference, at that news conference. He was actually trying to talk about something the Republicans are trying to do, the House is trying to pass, that is going to help the poor. But it ended up being, Trump, what do you think about, uh, Ryan, what do you think about Trump, etc. That's all, that's all in the news and bendable smartphones. 
Samsung's working on a bendable smartphone, which is great. Because if you bend your smartphone, you can relieve a lot of anger at your smartphone. Especially when your smartphone is like not opening an app that you want it to. Why won't you open? Yelp. I need to find out if this restaurant has any special deals I should know about. If I click on the special deal, I get like 10% off my coffee. That's it for this part of the show, everyone. Thanks for listening to this part of the show. It was a fun part of the show. I feel we, we worked through a lot of things. If you're a Bernie supporter, you know what? Whatever. That's good for you. He seems like a nice man. I'd take him over a Trump any day, but in the world of politics, it's kind of a... It kind of is going to cause problems if you keep supporting Bernie and not what the uh, Democrat... The Democratic Party is supporting. Even if you hate the superdelegates, the superdelegates are people just like you and me. I think... I don't know. They could be robots. I've never met a super delegate. Maybe they are like super people and they have superpowers. Maybe they were bitten by bugs. They have a. It allows them to vote for candidates and put people in power. I don't know. That's what. The MikeStillyPodcast.com website doesn't answer any of these questions, but it has a link to if you want to support the show, you can click on that Amazon link and help us all out. MikeStaleyPodcast.com Oh, we just got something here We don't have a Marco Minute Oh, we do have a Daily Haley What? Sudden change of plans Let's do it The return of Haley The Daily Haley The Almost Daily Haley We haven't done a Daily Haley in a long time Do you know that? And so Here Talking to this. God damn it, what the. How do I fucking work this goddamn piece of. Careful with my phone! Piece of shit. Hi. You're talking to the wrong end. (laughs) Hi. Uh, this is uh, Haley the Semi here, coming to you live from the studio. Whose birthday was it the other day? KDW. The other day, it was my brother's birthday. Whose birthday? The other day, it was my brother's birthday. It was your birthday, Haley. Okay, fine. It was my birthday on Friday. <sighs> but I don't even know when this is going to air. So is it this Friday? Is it next Friday? Is it last Friday? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Dating it, the the this trying to date date. Ever eaten a date before? Yeah, I've eaten a date or two. I don't like them because they kind of taste like prunes or like a mix between prunes and raisins, and I don't like prunes or raisins. Why not? They're good for you. Gross. Haley, what was your birthday like? I worked. Oh, Haley. What are we? We've not talked in so long. I feel as if we've got nothing to talk about. It's the fact of the matter that we used to just talk out of tiredness because we'd come in first thing in the morning and just rant into the microphone, and occasionally things would happen. That's true. We used to sing a lot too. Remember when we sang? It's been such a long time. Here comes Mike. Oh, Mike walked by. That was Boston you were singing. It's true. It was Boston, yes. Well, Haley, lately I've been getting up early and you haven't. So there's been this dichotomy. How do you enjoy your extra sleep? Um, It's all right. Uh, I like being able to get things done before I go to work. That's sort of a big advantage uh, to getting up early, in my opinion. Because I feel slightly more productive, but I still have to get used to not taking naps because I miss naps. You're, you can, yeah, you don't have time to take naps now. Now your nap would be your sleeping time because you get off and then you sleep all night. 
Do you still listen to the podcast that you enjoy, the one with Tompkins? Sometimes. I'm pretty caught up, but I know one came out today, so I'll probably listen to it on lunch or something. That thing you were reading me earlier about the guy uh, high on crack, what was that from? It's just a little anecdote someone was sharing on a post on a website that I frequent called thetumbler.com. Tumblr? Do people go there? Not really. Should I go there now? Let's go for a walk. Hey, if you want to go to Tumblr, you should go to mikesdailypodcast.tumblr.com. You didn't have to... I'll tumble for ya. I'll tumble for ya. Uh, thank you. You know, I don't really go there any... Did you send me a message there anytime? I might have. I don't remember. What's your favorite TV show these days? Have you seen a movie? I've seen a movie or two in my spare time. Let's do the rest of the show like we're computer-synthesized robots. It's been a good day today. I hope you have enjoyed it. What is new? I am a computer. How is your hard drive holding up, old Powell? My computer is down because of happiness. Get down with the happy robot boogie. Ah. Oh, so when Haley walked in, I was recording someone, and his daughter was on his show. The guy that I was recording. Not Haley... Okay, so anyway, his his daughter is supposed to be this hot, uh, what do you call it? What do you call the people that get you to work out? Personal personal fitness trainers. But she's from Canada, eh? so she had a bit of an accent. Anyway, Haley saw me make an idiot of myself trying to talk to the fitness trainer. He was trying to make... The Canadian references, and it was weird. And she's probably really young and doesn't even know who Loverboy or Brian Adams is. You kind of hope she knows who Rush is. That's true. Rush is huge all over. Oh, Jarrell's eating, eating something. Jarrell, I think, wants to be in on our conversation, but he, he looks so left out. Uh, oh wait, he's gonna walk in over here. You know, I I did a segment with him and I called it Jarrell Name. Because he likes anime. Hey, Jarrell, how's it going? That's a good question. I've been wondering that for years. Okay. Hey, Hello. Wow, we're doing a Daily Haley right now. Daily Haley, what's happening, yo? What's up, dog? We're just about to wrap it up because, well, the next thing we could talk about are recipes. Wait a minute. You say you're going to wrap it up, but wrap it up with what? You have no wrapper in here. Don't take everything so literally. I meant it in a figurative. Well, that's my life. I am literate. Well, it's better than being illiterate. <laughs> I thought I've lost. I've lost control of my show. You, were- you are, must realize that you are not absolutely in control to begin with. It is an illusion. Did you say you want to talk about recipes? Yeah. Do you have one, Haley? Um, yes, actually. My favorite recipe is, uh, here, I'll hold on to this phone while I talk oh, about this about recipe. To fall over. <laughs> uh, I, my specialty is, because it's easy to make when I go to podcasts, uh, no, potlucks. Potluck. If there was a podcast potluck, that would be cool. I should bring it to the podcast, though. But, uh, podcast potluck. Podcast potluck! Why don't we just do it right in here? No one brought food. This time. Um, you just take, like, a bag of butterscotch chips and two bags of chocolate chips? Yeah. And you melt them down in a bowl in the microwave with some peanut butter. And you put that in a pan. And then you put in some marshmallows and some almonds and you put it in the fridge, and it's this wonderful candy fudge thing, and it tastes way better than it deserves to. Haley uh, put on a smoking jacket for that recipe and was, like, reclining in a nice big chair when Haley was giving that recipe. Do you have one, too, Jarrell? 
That does sound delicious, by the way. Uh, it's probably heard of for years. It's icebox pie <laughs> with lemon juice. <laughs> so it's basically you simply, you know, mix cream cheese with condensed milk. Ooh. And then after get it gets really, really smoothed out when you've, you know, beaten it to all heck, heck. Mm-hmm. Then you just add a little lemon juice in there. Then you put it in a... Uh, in a pan that has a Minute Maid graham cracker crust. Yeah. Oh. And then you let it sit in the fridge overnight. Ah. Mm-hmm. And it'll kind of look like a cheesecake, but it's actually, they call it icebox pie. Right. But because of the lemon extract in there, or the lemon juice, it tastes fabulous. And also similar to key lime pie, only key lime pie is way too sour for me. If you ever wanted to see me with my face looked absolutely ridiculous, that would have been the time. Oh, th- thank you for the recipes, guys. That was awesome. Well, now I think I need to wrap it up. Wait, I do have some paper to wrap it up with. Uh, thanks, Haley. Thanks, Jarrell. Peace! Put a bow on it! Wow, that was three hours long. <laughs> Very informative, wasn't that? As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. And here's today's podcast picture. The podcast picture is of Basil the Boxer as he stands on a bench. This is, I think this is at Point Isabel. No, this is at Hayward Regional Shoreline. We like to walk there and he can be off leash. It's wonderful in the East Bay Get a look at the bay. I'm planning on going there today, possibly with Katie for uh, the uh, holding court with Lady Katie. We haven't done one of those in a while. We'll record that. That'll be fun. I just wanted to mention the other bald guy at work named Mike is an engineer who you've heard pop in on a couple of those segments I've done with Jarrell. And it was nice to have Jarrell stop by, too, wasn't it? And Jarrell Namay and, and Haley. And, and Mike has an interesting sense of humor yesterday so i bring this bag it's one of these canvas bags that everybody gives out in the bay area because uh we don't want to use up all the plastic or we don't want to throw a bunch of plastic into the landfills or whatever we want to don't we just don't want to have a bunch of we want to reuse redu- reduce reuse and regenerate reapply re something and reanimate now that's creepy and we, we have these bags now uh, to, to go shopping with. You You need to put a bunch in your car when you go shopping. And people go, hey, it's a bad idea because what if your chicken drips, your chicken, uh, raw chicken drips in your bag and then it becomes toxic and you use that bag again, you die. Okay. Right. And that's why we should continue uh, making plastic bags and having them fly all over the street and... You should see parts parts of the bay, of the Bay Area. Uh, there is huge mounds of trash that have just accumulated in certain pockets of. Well, all you got to do is dr- ride Bart, and when you're going through parts of uh, San Leandro in Oakland, you look down and you're like, "Whoa, where did all that trash come from?" I mean, heaps of trash like under the Bart uh, railway, the Bart. It's interesting, when it goes through Oakland, it goes up on this high monorail system, this high platform, as if to say, ooh, let's not get anywhere near there, let's go over it, let's, it's a flyover city, let's get as far away from it as possible and hoist these transportation systems high up off the ground. And then you look down and there's all this trash and plastic bags and stuff. So the whole plastic bag being eliminated as we know it maybe in part to that and of course to uh, be environmental but anyway i got my canvas bag full of crap it's full of uh things like this democratic card that i didn't follow and other newspapers and things that i read when you know i have a little downtime i'll flip through it and the engineer mike comes up to me and goes okay all that stuff in that bag, there's going to be a test on that tomorrow. Ah, ha, ha. And I laughed. Because it's pretty funny. Then he shows up about five minutes later with an actual test. It was not a test about 
obviously all the stuff in that bag. But it was a test that the radio station has their employees take. But he was kidding. So that's the kind... We have a lot of prop humor at my work. And there you go. And guys, bald guys named Mike like to joke around like that. So what have we learned on today's show? That the California election is over. We've waited here in California. We wait an entire half year before we finally have a chance to say something. We've seen the entire country say all the crazy shit they're going to say. They say some crazy stuff. And then finally we get to sit and go, hey, <coughs> shut up all y'all. We're going to say something. And then this process, then the conversation's over. The voting is over for the at least the primaries and the caucuses and all that. Here in California, we're like a caucus. What? You caucus? What is even that word? That sounds dirty. So all that's done. And we move on and look forward to Thursday and the rest of the week. Next show, it's going to be Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floor Man, and John Deere, the engineer. We. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.